Hi guys, Virginia here and I'm back with a new 12 by 12 process video for confessions of a paper and a cut files and I'm using the Jandal water cut file. Um, I made this layout quite a long time ago. <laughs> um, it's just kind of been sitting there <laughs> so I thought I'd get it out today. Um, I'm using the Coco Vanilla Studio Sunkiss collection. It's really bright and vibrant, um, great for um, beach photos. So I've got four of them there, the smaller ones of a little trip that we went to the beach quite a while ago. Um, and I thought I'd kind of do this horizontal line of them and then the jandals kind of running underneath. So I'm going to use the A5 paper stack from this collection to uh, go ahead and back um, each of the little jandals. So I just start with the top portion, the bit that goes over your foot in between your toes <laughs> of the jandals. Um, so I go ahead and I back those little bits and then it's really simple to just back the rest of the jandle with just one solid bit of pattern paper. Um, it makes the process really quick. So I'm just doing blue for this top portion and then I think I'd make them, the jandles yellow <laughs> on the bottom. <laughs> just because. Why not? You can do anything you want with a cut file, can't you? So just go ahead and glue them down. And I don't make you watch the whole process of backing the cut file. You've seen it hundreds of times. Glue those little bits. And then I can just go ahead and trace around the entire shape of the jandle and then cut that out and glue it in place. I'm just tidying up a few little bits of pattern paper. Okay. Go ahead and trace around that jandle. And the second one. And then I can cut them out. Super simple. Okay, so we skip to the whole cut file is now backed. So we've got some cute little light blue ones and pink ones and yellow ones. And I like the idea of using this cloud paper, but I didn't want to use a whole sheet. And I thought I'd utilize this scrap bit of white cardstock. So I thought we'd go half and half, sky on the top, white on the bottom, and I'd bring in some mixed media down the bottom. So. I'm just kind of measuring and working out where I need, how much I need to cut off that pattern paper. So just mark that with pencil and trim it off. <clears throat> and just rough up that bottom edge a little bit. Why not? A little bit of texture. And I can go ahead and pop that in place. And then just glue that last little bit down. I just had to overlap it over the white cardstock just so that they can meet. And then just because it's a really small portion of pattern paper, I'm just going to pop a bit of glue and washi tape just to make sure it's going to all stay together. I'd hate for it to start falling apart. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've popped my cut file up on some adhesive foam. And my little jandals are just going to be walking across the centre of the page. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm looking for paint, so I probably could have cut this bit out. <laughs> okay, so I bring in some, these are Vicky Booten, they're quite old, but I've ended up with two sets of them. I don't know how, I think I bought one. I think the other one I might have ended up with in a, from a Kitaholic Kits kit. Um, so yeah, I thought let's just let's bring in some acrylic paint today and see how this goes. These colours don't match this collection that great, um, but they'll do in my opinion. They, I'll just do it. So um, because I haven't used them in a while, they've gone a little bit hard at the top, but that's okay. Just pull out the pull out the crusty bits, <laughs> and it works. So I'm just doing a line of each of those colours. There we go. And I'm using a quite a wide um, wiry brush, just a cheap one. And I'm making I need to make sure that it's dry. I want to get that dry brush stroke effect. So um, just make sure that your brush is dry for this. Okay, so just tapping in it and then 
making some strips strokes probably is the better word <laughs> and starting from where that that white cardstock meets that pattern paper and then just bringing it down and in the end you can just kind of flick the paintbrush and because it's dry a dry brush you get these kind of wispy strokes which is what I was going for okay a dry off and get rid of that paint and we do end up having to wet it but um, it's okay dry it on paper towel and come in with that kind of bluey green colour and again just starting at that pattern paper just brushing it down I'm going to go ahead and clean off my brush Okay, so I decided to skip through that next bit <laughs> instead of you guys having to wash, watch me um, clean my paintbrush. I'm just going to do some tone on tone splatters, the same colour paints. I'm just adding some water to the acrylic paints and just using a really fine tip paintbrush and just splattering some little splatters on that white cardstock just for a bit of interest. Okay, so that's all dry now. I left that to dry. I can just bring in my little jandals. And my photos. And I did kind of contemplate tucking them in and around those jandals. But I ended up going up with my photos just at the top. And so I'm going to bring in some embellishments. I've got a lot of fussy cut florals um, in this container. It tends to be what I do when I get a new Coco Vanilla Studio collection. I just sit down and fussy cut out an entire sheet of the floral pattern paper. <laughs> um, okay, I didn't like this photo. So we're just going to go in a straight kind of horizontal line across the page. Bring them up a little bit. And I can start embellishing with some other bits and pieces. So I've got a little rainbow. Definitely, I don't think this is a design I've done before. <laughs> Quite um, different. Which is why I think I struggled with how I was going to embellish it. I get there in the end. I mean, there's so many little bits and pieces in this die cut pack that are perfect for this layout. It's just about narrowing down which ones to use. I like the idea of those little palm trees. They're kind of working with the design, I think. So I stack a few up for those photos. And I like these single floral die cuts. Um, so I do just cut down the white borders on them. So they're quite thick. Um, so I go ahead and do that with the pink one and these leaves. Probably could cut this out. I thought I had. Obviously, I didn't. <laughs> so just trim it down a bit. Pop a little leaf with that pink one. And a little blue flower. Go ahead and trim that down. And pop the blue in there. And we're kind of going tone on tone now. <laughs> Seems to be a bit of a natural thing for me to do. If I struggle, I just go, let's go tone on tone if I can do it. It just makes the embellishing process so much easier because you've just instantly narrowed down your embellishment choices, haven't you? So we've got a pineapple that totally works. We're at the beach. <laughs> and a yellow flower. Um, yep, happy with that. Another little green leaf just to go with that yellow flower. So I go ahead and fussy cut that thick white border off. Just tuck it in there. I'm just kind of continue to look through all the bits and pieces. I found a little blue flower which I like. Of course I've got to trim down that white border. 
I really should just pop all the pieces in place and then when I start to glow things down then go ahead and um, cut the white border off it makes um, it'd probably make for a much more entertaining <laughs> process video um, and it would make editing a lot easier okay so I'm shuffling around those photos again we're going two for two two on the left two on the right and I think I settled for this we've got our two little palm trees and that sun have a look at the sticker sheet and I can bring it in um, a couple of little phrases down here and a quick look at the puffy stickers I'm feeling like I need another colour well, what can I do for a title because I haven't got a title at the moment I like the idea of that cute little rainbow so I'll pop that up there Little pink flower, just pop it down underneath that pink jandal, and then a little light blue flower. <clears throat> okay, happy with that. We're going to go ahead and glue everything down. I'm glad I moved those photos down. They look they are far more connected with um, the rest of the page now. <laughs> Everything's kind of touching. Um, yeah. So I just go ahead and work my way around the page and then glue all the bits and pieces on top of that cut file, as you can see there. And then I can glue it in place. Super simple. Um, after that, I think that that is pretty much it for my layout. Another flower, I'm going to trim down that border. <laughs> um, so there'll be close-ups coming up. Um, there's always a link to the shop in the description box below, as well as the Confessions of Paper Attic Facebook group. Um, but until next time, bye guys.